Welcome to the Animal Crossing New Horizons Guide to April. This is the fourth in what is 12 videos to guide you into making the most out of every month in the year in Animal Crossing New Horizons. We'll discuss all the different creatures that can be caught, events that will happen, and birthdays that will be celebrated. Keep in mind that this video is being made in March of 2021 and there are plenty of updates to come that might introduce content that's not covered in this video. But without further ado, let's get into it. The Cherry Blossom season is upon us again, and back also are the 11 items in the Cherry Blossom Furniture series. You can make these pieces by catching and collecting cherry blossom petals that will be drifting around your town from the 1st of April to the 10th. During this time as well, you can find recipes for the cherry blossom set in balloons if you didn't get them all last year, or if you only recently started your island. Also starting on the 1st of April is Bunny Day. Nintendo have added a few items in the Bunny Day set since last year, so whether you're on a new island or an old one, you should have some stuff to collect. There are six different types of eggs that you can find to help you craft the various recipes that you'll earn. You can get them through fishing, digging, shaking trees, shooting down balloons, chopping trees, and hitting rocks. On the second Saturday of April will be another fishing tournament. Try to earn the entire fishing tourney furniture set from CJ between the hours of 9am to 6pm. There are 16 items in total, 13 pieces of furniture, plus a bronze, silver, and gold trophy for 100, 200, and 300 cumulative fish caught over all the fishing tournaments. Added recently in the 1.9.0 patch is the Whoopee Cushion item for April Fool's Day. You can order it off of Nook Shopping from March 26th to April 1st and can customize it into a few different colors as well. Sing Mogil is a South Korean holiday that signals the arrival of spring. With it brings the Forsythia, which you can also order off of Nook Shopping between the days of April 1st to April 10th. If you're a real loser like me, then perhaps you'd like to celebrate prom in Animal Crossing rather than a sweaty gym with people that you don't like. Luckily, Nintendo has us covered by adding three prom items that will rotate stock in Nook Shopping for the entire month of April. From March 21st to April 19th, you can learn the Ares Rocking Chair recipe from Celeste if you have shooting stars on your island. And from April 20th to May 20th, you can use your Taurus Fragments to make the Taurus Bathtub that you can also learn from Celeste. The following villagers all celebrate their birthday in the month of April, in order from the 2nd to the 30th. Kashmir and Tammy, Eunice, Buck, Bo, Hopper, Rasher, Mael, Stella, Sherry, Punchy, Melba, Candy, Rocket, Vesta, Charlize, Piper, Pietro, Stu, Agnes, Phoebe, Miranda, Walt, Bertha, Kevin, Kat, Ava, Coach, and Angus. There are a total of 39 of the 80 collectible fish available this month. 10 new fish begin to spawn in April, and 3 will be gone after April is over, making for a total of 13 fish to discuss. To start, though, let's discuss the ones that are leaving first. The first of the three fish leaving this month is the Dab. It's a small ocean fish that's very common. You've probably caught plenty of them by this point, but if not, do so now. The tuna is one of two fish leaving this month that are available on the pier of your island. I would recommend bringing a lot of bait to help you catch this guy since it's rare and the spawning for it is in a very specific location. Similarly, the blue marlin has the same spawning conditions as the tuna, so follow the same steps as before to catch this guy as well. Now that's all for the fish leaving this month, now let's talk about the ones that are just starting to spawn. Search your ponds for Achilles fish, a rare little fish that you can catch until the month of August. Also spawning in your ponds is the crawfish. It's much less rare and just a little bit bigger than Achilles fish. A nighttime fishing trip in your rivers might net you a snapping turtle. From 9 p.m. to 4 a.m., you can catch these guys and use them as cute decorative pieces. Fishing in the morning, however, might get you a guppy. They're quite small and pretty rare, but they'll be around for a while before they despawn in November. 
The Neon Tetra shares the same spawning conditions as the Guppy, but I found it to be a little bit more common. Fun fact as well, they're also the smallest fish in the game. Available all day in your oceans is the Seahorse. It's not a hard fish to catch and it sells for 1100 bells, making it decently worthwhile to catch. The warmer months bring the clownfish back to your islands. These small tropical fish are available until September at all times of the day. The bright blue surgeon fish is back as well this month and is the same size as the horse mackerel, albeit a little bit more rare. Next is the butterfly fish, another small fish that you can find all day in your oceans until September. The zebra turkey fish will quickly annoy you with its abundant spawning, but pick it up before November to donate to blathers before it's too late. Thirty-six of the eighty total bugs can be caught in the month of April. With the warm weather comes ten new bugs to catch this month and only one single bug leaving. Let's discuss the eleven bugs that will come and go this month. The tarantula is the only bug leaving after April, so I recommend deforesting a Nook Miles Island to help you spawn one in before scorpion season begins next month. As the name might imply, the common blue bottle will be all over your island starting in April. You'll probably catch one, donate it, and never catch another one since they're not really worth that much. A more valuable butterfly is the Agrius butterfly, but you'll need to react fast because it's a quick little bug. Your efforts will be worth it though since it has a decent selling price. Returning after being gone for a couple of months is the Raja Brooks Birdwing. It's another rare butterfly that spawns mostly near blue flowers. Lurking on your trees at night could be the Atlas Moth, a very large and decently valuable bug that you can catch until September. With plenty of flowers on your island, you should be able to catch a Madagascan Sunset Moth pretty quickly. It sells for a decent amount too, so take advantage of them while they're here. Long locusts can be found jumping around on your island starting in April. Listen for a clicking sound when they jump to find them easily. A common flying insect is the Darner Dragonfly. They're pretty quick, but with enough attempts, you should be able to catch this bug pretty quickly. Floating on the surface of your rivers will be the giant water bug. If you ever make Nook Miles Islands to spawn tarantulas or scorpions, you'll probably be getting a lot of these guys instead. Found on tree stumps is the Jewel Beetle. Make sure that you have a tree that you don't mind chopping down to get this shiny bug. If a villager of yours complains about being itchy, then there's probably a flea on them. Hit them with your net to relieve them of their suffering. Or just hit them for no reason, it really doesn't bother me at all. There are 20 deep sea creatures to catch in March, 2 new benthic creatures become available, and 3 will be leaving. So, here are the 5 total deep sea creatures that you should prioritize this month. You won't find it hard to get a sea cucumber, seeing as how it's pretty slow and very common to find, but you need to get it now before it's gone until November. Leaving as well at the end of April is the snow crab. This will be a much harder catch than the sea cucumber, but not the hardest. That title goes to... The spider crab. You should dedicate a day or more towards getting this creature because it's only available for March and April, meaning that you'll have to wait basically a year to get it again. It's very rare, very fast, so don't say I didn't warn you. The lobster left in January, but it's back for a couple of months before it's gone again in June. You should make sure you catch a few of these seeing as they sell for a decent amount. The grody looking sea pineapple will be available all summer from April to August. It's around all day during those months, and it's not too hard to get either. Thanks as always for the support on these monthly guides. The first few have done well on my channel. Consider subscribing if you want these videos every month and some other Animal Crossing sprinkled in there too. I do town tours and fun Animal Crossing experiment videos in between these guides. I record most of my content on my Twitch channel where you can find me live six days a week at 2pm pacific. But thanks again, have a good April, and I'll see you guys again in May.